For me, the timeline, I, I came here at Woodlands in 2002, um, began doing op um, minimally invasive hand assist laparoscopic and laparoscopic cases. And then right around 2006, 2007, um, the Da Vinci system was getting more mainstream and, and spread around the country. We made a very strong conscious effort to lobby the hospitals to get us a Da Vinci system because we knew we had to have it to be able to provide the way we wanted to for our patients. For me, robotic surgery was more of an evolution um, over time that during residency, I can recall that we did almost everything open. We did very little minimal invasive surgery initially. Towards the end of re residency, we began to do some things more endoscopically and some basic laparoscopy began to occur. With this basic laparoscopy, we would do things such as clip small vessels, but then as I went into the Air Force, we had an opportunity where we set up a all service-wide um, endoscopic lab where we had an animal lab and we began to do things laparoscopically. And we mostly did these as hand assist where we actually would make a small incision in the patient but then transition to doing more endoscopic and less invasive. And upon coming here to the Woodlands, at that point nationwide, more and more endoscopic minimally invasive procedures were occurring. And at other facilities, patients in the universities, major facilities, were starting to do some robotic surgery. Limits to the robot at that point were certainly expense, and it was not that easy to get into the smaller communities. At that point, though, we began to see some of our patients going away for these procedures. And to our surprise, when they came back, they actually did better than our own patients who were done open. At that point, we knew that that was the future of robotics and we had to be a part of it. And we found a way to make this happen by my newest partner at the time, Dr. Sakon and I, um, committing to doing this. And we had not only had the commitment between the two of us, but our, all of our partners together said we knew this had to happen. And we made it happen by going off doing training initially, but we were able to take our laparoscopic experience we had already and transition this and segue into doing it more robotically. Like any new technology, there was some apprehension when we start, first started doing the procedures. But as we became more accustomed to the procedures and we gained more experience, it was obvious that the patients did much better with the robotic surgery versus the open surgery. I think that uh, the inception of the Robotic Surgical Institute here at the Woodlands is really a remarkable product because what the um, practice and the team have done is they've taken the two most experienced robotic surgeons in the area who had already completed hundreds and hundreds of cases and now they've made a commitment to bringing in a new skill set. I'm the first wave of that, but there are, are more opportunities on the horizon and we will continue to expand these opportunities.